Welcome back to Mike and Sheila Make Stuff. So, I have a confession. I'm terrible at finishing 3D prints. I just lack the patience. Uh, a lot of what I like to try to do is just get it good enough. Uh, I make props mostly for stage use, so no one's getting within 30 feet of them anyway, so I'll call that good enough most of the time. So to work on this, I uh, printed off a dead 3D print of Darth Vader. I'm going to try and finish and see if I can get it uh, looking pretty good. Uh, my workshop is a subterranean bunker. Uh, it's in the garage and it's underground. Mostly, if I stand up, the ground level is about here on me. So, my 3D printing filament tends to get wet. Uh, just because I'm in Pittsburgh, we have too much humidity. It doesn't work out. So we'll show you the video of the, the print, but you'll see there's uh, some issues with the print. Uh, it's old filament, it's too humid. Uh, it just, it needs some work. So we'll show you the print, and then uh, after that, uh, we'll go to the next steps. Hey, it's yesterday, and it is uh, today, Mike explained. We're going to clean up our Darth Vader here. He's got some stringing. He's got some rough spots. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just clean him up. First, we're going to hit him with the heat gun. That'll melt off a lot of the little bit, bits of PLA that are sticking to him. Uh, take care of some of the stringing. Uh, after that, some 220 sandpaper. And then when that's all done, uh, some filler primer spray paint to take care of some of the layer lines in there. Uh, nobody likes to have a liney Sith Lord. So we'll take care of that. Uh, enjoy the music. All right, he's sanded, uh, maybe not perfectly, but well enough. We'll hit him with the filler primer and uh, see where that gets us. 
and then we'll go back there to Denmark. Thanks yesterday, Mike. Uh, we do have the now primed pieces. And in general, they're looking better, but there are still a few spots there that maybe need some more touch-up work. So what we're gonna do is take this and use some putty, smooth that on those spaces, and then send them back down again. Again, this is one of those things where like, I, I hate doing it. It's slow, it takes forever. But hopefully if we do this right, the the effort will pay off. So, Dar's got his first kind of coats on here. He's nice and shiny. Uh, some parts of that are great. We want a nice shiny faceplate helmet. This cape's gonna need to be toned down because that's not supposed to be shiny. Parts of this should be gray. These guys will need to be painted to be uh, colors. Uh, but before we get to that, we've got some drips that we want to take care of and a spot where honestly the paint stuck and then pulled off. Not a big deal because I'm going to have to repaint this, but we're going to sand down this little bit right here. Try to take care of some of those drips. Maybe see if there's any other ones right here, for instance. And then we'll do another coat on him. Just to make him nice and, and shiny and smooth. If you saw our short, You'll know I love these little jars for things like wet sanding. We're going to use that now with some uh, 800 grit sandpaper and uh, just clear those up a little bit more. We started off with 400 uh, after we did the paint job. We're going to go to 800 just to make it a little bit smoother. It's not quite fully dry yet, but we'll go ahead and get started and do uh, with the airbrush some black along his cloak to take the shine out of that and then let him finish drying completely. Do the gray up through here, do some buttons, maybe do a red wash over his lenses, and just uh, keep going. It's all dry, good condition. Probably gonna go over the black on this cape with a, uh, a matte finish, but uh, time to move on. Now, guys, my reference materials were pulled up. Uh, this model's not quite uh, exactly movie accurate, that's fine. But what we do need to do is sort of paint some of these guys. Now, because they're painted black, first thing we do is paint these white so that the colors underneath will show up better. Similarly up here we seem to make some of these guys gray.
All right, the white looks to be dry. Uh, we're gonna go over that with a few other colors here just to make it look more like lights and buttons rather than just a field of black there. So this is a dark blue going over the white. I'm gonna go over it pretty lightly to try to leave this uh, be a little bit lighter. It's got kind of a French flag thing going on now. Um, Le Vedar du Darth. Do a quick little touch up there. I got some white on the black where I don't want it. Okay. All right. I'm going to tape off areas around his cape so I can go over that with a matte finish. material out of the way so it doesn't get sprayed. I do really like the airbrushing. You get better with using it. But you can see you got a little bit of a difference there in the shine between his helmet and his cape. It just helps sell that they're different materials. And with that, he's uh, he's done. That's our Darth. There we are. Maybe not the most professional finish or the best paint job, but considering where I've been with trying to do uh, finishing on 3D prints, I'd call it a win. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe on your way out.